Amen. Thank you. Let's go to the next summer. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Our next summer is Eric. Eric, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're from. Eric. Good night, Papa. Good night. Good night. And where are you guys zooming from? From Uppington. Uppington. Northern Cape. That place must be hot. And you guys are wearing a lot. A lot. Mm. Bless you guys. How may we help you? Papa, we love you all. We love you. Amen. Uh, that's why I need prayers because I have this business for almost two years now and it's not flourishing. Nothing is working out for me. And I have two daughters. They are in Madrid now this year. So I really need prayers. Now don't worry. God is with you. God will bless you. Ne? God is with you. Um, he's going to set you free. Ne? God is going to bless you. Don't worry. Um, let's trust. How long have you been having that business? For two years. For two years. But God is with you. Don't worry, guys. Just know that God's love is upon all of you. Amen. There was a moment where you woke up and you feel like nauseous. Yes. And the throat was painful. And the lower jaws were more painful. And your legs were like numpish and weakish. Amen. It's last year, am I right? It's the last year. And like the vein behind the left ear, I mean the left leg, the vein behind on the thigh was painful and you woke up limping. Yes, yes. Yeah, it and it yeah. is still happening during June month. Yeah, mm. it was June. It's, it's still it happening now, no? Yeah. yeah, not to worry. Amen. Not to worry. What you ate the night before this could happen, you found yourself having a lot of saliva. Yeah. You kept on spitting, spitting, but the next day when you woke up, that's how your body changed. So, not to worry. Amen. Not to worry. God is going to bless you. And what I'm saying to you right now, the issue of business is trouble because now what I'm saying, it's spiritual. You get what I mean? Eh? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's, true. True. Oh, oh. it's yes. still happening now that spiritual business is linked to what I just told you now. Because you started experiencing this and there would be sometimes your legs underneath your foot, especially the right leg, there'll be like... A force, boo, pain, boo. So God is going to remove all that. Don't worry. It's spiritual. The issue of business causes trouble communication with others. I'll just put it that way. But God will change your business now. God will change you. All these things will go. And he's here to set you free. I'm praying for the lower abdominal pain as well because the pain will come. Yes. Thanks, Abby. So God is going to bless you. Don't worry, guys. I'm saying God loves you. And the love of God is upon you. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. Amen. Bless you. My pain is your pain. Amen. Our pain is Jesus' pain and we give them unto him. Yes. We give all these troubles unto him. And I pray for your back as well. Yes. God loves you. Yes. The word of the Lord has come under the roof, locating all of you as a family. The love, the light of God shines on all of you. Your darkness, your evil, your evil who torments them, get out. Get out with every character. Get out, you evil. You evil. Pew. 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 Out of a business, out of a children, all of you, all of you, get out, you darkness. Get out. Get out. 
out with evil character. Get out! Out of this family, out of your children, out of your life, you come out! Darkness. Father, we thank you for light that shines and it is done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Check those paints. How are you feeling now? Check everything that we spoke about. Check now. I'm feeling very, very light. I'm feeling very, very light. All those pains, you don't feel them? Even my head, it's gone. It's gone. Amen. Let's live for Jesus Christ. Wow, wonderful, my friend. God loves you. God loves you. And I pray for your fingering, marital life. Your fingering. Yes, it's I spiritual. Pardon? Ring. I've removed my, my ring. Yes, that's trouble. Why did you remove your ring? Yo, it's almost 10 years now that my husband is on and off. He left me mm. and he took me back and it's... That yes, is, there's trouble. And, uh, Pardon? I see it's... There's no end. It's just a circle. It's yes, no yes. That's what I'm saying. Your finger ring. There's trouble. Marital life. Marital life. God loves you. We're going to pray for that issue. We simply pray for God to change him. <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> on and off, on and off, on and off, and let the will of God happen. In other words, I'm saying we pray for the will of God to happen upon this marriage. Mm. Now you took it out. That's what I'm saying. There's a marital problem now that appears now. And now remember when I said the low abdominal pains yes. and the dream of him as well. We pray against evil dreams. Mm -hmm. Evil marital dreams. Evil marital dreams disturb you as well. I pray for him, for God to touch him. You see, one and saying the will of God. If this is the marriage from God, no one can just say, I don't want to change. God gives you favor. You get what I mean? Eh? That's what I'm saying. We pray for the power of God to step in your marital life because it's trouble. But let's understand where the man comes from. Because issues where there's promiscuity when the person comes from that lineage. Yes. Yes. There's issue of promiscuity from his lineage. Not true. And people just live like that. Whether a woman or a man, the same trouble. Amen. Am I right? So it's true. That's what I'm saying. Let's come to this point. Let's understand where it comes from. A person who's been brought up that way, seeing everybody living like that. Mm. Yes. <laughs> no, it's true. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> and, huh? This is true. <laughs> But you entered into this relationship while you knew. Oh, but I didn't have that knowledge before. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. But you got the knowledge and you entered into the marriage. Hallelujah. <laughs> Didn't you enter into the marriage? I did. So you entered because you are the people who, when they started crying, you say, hey, but love is really blind. <laughs> <laughs> is it not true when pains, you entered into it you knew but when trouble came you said hey love is blind why why <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't worry, but God loves you. God, okay. don't worry, God loves you. That's what I'm saying. Let's come to that part. Amen. For God to help him because he's been brought up in such a way. They grew up that way. Promiscuity, whether men or women, it was just like that. People would live like that. So let's understand this. No? So we pray for God to change him for the salvation of his soul as well. Yeah. You get it, no? For the salvation of his soul. And God is with you. You could have been married by someone, but you refused and went for him. Uh, <laughs> it was a long queue, yes. It was a one, 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 four. Oh, yeah. Amen. Glory. Proposal, propose, hey, but I will, I will. Now you, your eyes were on one man. Uh, amen. Amen. So don't worry. Me, I'm saying God loves you. You could have been married by other. But your own choice. <laughs> <laughs> My friends, so serious. <laughs> but why you had you could have been married because you were like hunted. And that's why I'm talking about four serious ones that disappointed you. But your eyes looked upon one man. But I'm saying God loves you. Don't worry. God is with you. God restores you. Let's pray for God's will to happen in this marriage. And let God do his will. And let's see salvation at work. Let's just see salvation at work. And, and I'm, all I'm saying, I'm saying this must happen so that also, it must be cancelled and not follow your children. Yes. It mustn't follow your children. Yes. Because the trouble of seeing children with different characters, it troubles you right now. Not having the same character. Mm. Yeah. You can't, you don't understand what well, this one is going to follow the father. This one is like me. This one, we cancel this. Mm. Amen. Amen. So in this or at this point, I'm praying for you together with your children now. Yeah. That no one falls into this trap. Yeah. And I pray for business prominency, which comes from a family side, to fall on you. Mm -hmm. Because when you talk about business prominency, people get prominent, they fall. In terms of business. This is the issue of not knowing Jesus Christ and not rising accordingly. Amen. But I pray that because you know Jesus Christ, let it fall on you. Amen. That God can bless you and see God at work in your family. Amen. You. Father, they are your family. We command this evil to go, this darkness to depart. Light shines on all of you. Amen. We command this evil to go. No pain will locate you, to distract you, to bring you down. No curse comes against you. You darkness of curse, get out. Evil you go. Evil you go. We speak the word upon your husband to be changed. Lord Jesus, we plead for your glory that transforms anything and anyone. The love, the love of God comes upon all of you, including your children. Freedom has come. All evil departs. This shall never ever come upon you. You darkness you go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God loves you. Guys. God loves you. Thank you. Um, just focus on him. Believe in him. He loves you. Amen. And I pray for the ministry in heart. Amen. Amen. Ministry. <laughs> Ministry. Ministry in heart. Ministry in heart. Directed in your heart. Thank you, Lord. For your desire, your desire is deep with ministry as well. 
Your desire is deep with ministry. Everything that stands in the way of interfering with your desire moves aside. It moves aside. You are going to pray as you desired. You are going to worship as you desired and to be used as you desired as that desire shall be the desire from the kingdom, from heaven. Light shines on you. And the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What's happening with ministry? Can you hear me? Okay, come back. <laughs> okay, come back. <laughs> our, our friend. <laughs> What's happening with minister? Because it's deep in you. you know, my, I was, my, my father was a pastor, so... It's deep, it's deep, it's deep, it's deep. <laughs> it's deep, it's deep. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can so speak. My father was a pastor and he passed away, so he raised me. Hmm. And to my children, I I, I, I tend to, to to God, so that's why you know, I love I love my maker too much. Yeah. But it's deep in you. It's that's what I'm saying, ministry, it's deep in you. It's like something that you don't look at how your father struggled, no? I want you to just ask God to lead you. Amen. And that's why you hear me saying it's deep in you. Amen. It's deep in you. Don't forsake it. Sometimes people think ah, it was with him, he's gone. But now, I'm saying, when God places a thing in the family, they rise. And don't let any obstacle to disturb you. And, and, and uh, let me not just go on. Eh? I'm praying for you, for God to speak to your most full emotions. I'm just introducing it so that God can speak into your most full emotions. Then you come back to me. Eh? Pardon? I say I will. I will come yes. back. This is how I'm sending you. I'm sending you with visions. I'm sending you with dreams. I'm sending you with those visions and dreams that will speak into your most holy emotions concerning this. I declare it is done with directions, touching your heart because it's deep. Deep calleth unto deep. In Jesus' name. And you'll come back. Amen. Amen. Bless you guys. God loves you. Hey, you guys, just go to school. Prepare to go to school. Uh, the issue of, of, of hey, hey, my business, my business. So it's Christ's business now. Yes. It's, Christ, it's Christ's business. Just don't be disturbed. Write your exam. Do exams with joy. Do everything. I'm saying the source of money comes from anywhere when Jesus is at work. Amen. 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 Thank you, Daddy. You're blessed. God is with you. You'll send your testimonies. Bless you. Amen. 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 Hello. I also have a prayer request. My sister. Who's next now? Everybody is not Eric there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sorry. This is a I have a prayer request, Daddy. Yes, what's the name? Lisa. Lisa. Who? Lisa. Lisa. Okay, Lisa. Bless you, Lisa. I have a problem with my head. When I'm always walking in the street, when I go to uh, our prayers, we pray most every day. So it's like my head is dizzy. When I walk, I can feel the dizziness in my head. 
And the other thing is when I pray, or also, or, or even when I uh, meditate on the word, it's like I eat nicely, and then my head is like somewhere else. It's like nonsense. Then I have to say, no, come back. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say nonsense. But it's, then it's filled with, with nonsense, and that it, it disturbs me. That's okay, don't worry. We'll pray for it's the, the, that wandering mind, you know? yeah. And the other it's issue not... are my workplace. It's like they move me. I can you? My workplace. They move me from from being a case officer. So now I'm at logistic. So mm -hmm. they did not train us. We just sit there and see what we are doing. But they're also struggling with some work to do because, like, it's like that, when I lady trained me with bites and other things, it's like my head close. I do not mm -hmm. understand. I can see this thing is very easy, but it's like I'm gone. Mm -hmm. like I do not. I'm blank. I do not understand anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. No, don't worry, we're going to pray for that issue. Mm, the headache issue, the, 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 the dizziness. So God will help you. You'll think wisely. God will restore your wisdom. Ne? Yeah. I'm going to pray with you. The word of the Lord has come out of the roof, penetrating you. All evil of darkness departs. Your darkness, you come out, but the roots be uprooted. The word of the Lord penetrates you right now. Your darkness, your evil. You leave Lisa right now, you come out, you depart, you come out with every character, come out, out with every character, with every character, get out, out of Lisa, get out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be separated from her, you darkness, you go. Go, you depart. You come out by the roots. You depart by the roots. Every disappointment in your life you have been identified. You have been identified and you go. You come out. She's now under the eyes of the Lord. Not in a single part of her life escapes the power of God in Jesus' name. Amen. How do you feel, Lisa? How was the business? I'm good, Daddy. I'm all right. Pardon? I'm good. Yeah, I want you to check, even at work, don't worry, you'll function correctly, ne? Amen. You'll function correctly. I, I, I declare a blessing upon you. Amen. Thank you. I declare a good relationship, life. Amen. Amen. Because we come to there, we say, Lord, intervene. Amen. Save your daughter, to bless your daughter. You've been blessed and made whole in Jesus' name. Amen. I just make it short. You'll bring a testimony. God is with you. Amen. 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 God loves you, Lisa. Don't worry. No? Amen. Amen. You'll bring a testimony. Amen. Lisa, you understand why I'm saying I make it short? No? Sometimes you get pains that will go like on the groin. Under my feet also. And under your feet, yes, you... Let me say a problem of from waist. I'm just some that's why I'm making it easy. A problem of from waist going down, no? waking up with a painful abdomen, and sometimes my feet feel like it's swelling. It's like, yes, God loves you. So I'm just making observe that I declare that no longer your problem. Yes, Jesus. I declare that no longer your problem. I declare it's over. God loves you. I declare good dreams. Amen. Amen. I declare good dreams because they are a mixture. Yes. In the morning when I wake up, I forget all my dreams. It's dream. all gone. It's a mixture because you can't explain in the morning how you dreamed. It's too many dreams. Yes. So the time saying I'm praying for that as well. The word of the Lord penetrates you. 
I'm seeing you visions and dreams from above. Be restored in Jesus' name. Blessed Lisa, God loves you. Ne? Amen. 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 Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, guys. Amen. Amen. Love you. Love you, guys. Amen. Love you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> love you eric thank you for your camera amen amen bless you guys thank you <laughs> amen i believe we're all done it bless you amen 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 thank you guys amen, amen. let's go to the next zoom amen thank you papa our next Zuma is Tendo, Sean. Tendo, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're coming from. Tendo, Sean. Uh, greetings, Papa. Besides, greetings to you, Tendo. Where are you zooming from? Um, I'm zooming from Alex. Alex, bless you. Bless you, Tendo. How are you doing? I'm, I'm blessed. <laughs> you are blessed, Tendo. How are you, Sean Tendo? Amen. So, uh, Papa, um, there's a brother who who just lost his his mother, and I was at his place before he left to to Limpopo. So. One thing uh, we're praying just to know if is the will of God, and um, yeah, that's what we're praying for. And um, I was praying with this other brother concerning that as well, and he had a dream. So in the dream, it's like um, myself and him were waiting um for the knowledge of the will of god so as we are waiting like that he said that somebody just came and instructed me and after that instruction i had to like cut my hand and then i went to him to cut his hand and according to how he tells me is that in his mind he was like what kind of will of god is this and he was thinking perhaps I'm initiating him, perhaps I'm from the kingdom of darkness, and that's the dream. So we're asking for the interpretation. Of... Okay, so the brother left for you? Yes, he went home. Oh, you went home oh, go for, for the mother's burial? Yes, it should be okay. tomorrow. Oh, it should be tomorrow. Not to worry, we're going to pray for him. Please tell him to rest and trust God. Amen. Tell him to rest and trust God. And put everything aside. If he wishes to speak to me, he can speak to me later on. But I'll, I'll still pray for him. But the issue of depression again, it's his issue with the family. That's true. With That's the family. True. With the family. They suffer mostly with that. So That's it's the, the depression truth. that goes the head, no? Because That's what he's experiencing currently. The head, no? No, the, the, the depression, I'm not sure about the head. The head, I'm, I'm going to say the head, depression, affecting the head, the mind. Depression. Remember when you talk about depression, the Lord guards your hearts and minds. You get it, no? So, okay. we're going to pray. How did the mother pass on? Uh, I believe she was at the hospital. So, he was from there recently and the 
just after coming back. I mean, what was the sickness? Uh, I'm not. I'm not aware. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm going to pray for the depression, for the head. I'm going to pray for the leg issue as well in his family. Leg issue. Like legs problems. Hmm. I'm going to pray for that. That's why I'm saying I'll speak to him because he's not around. I'll speak to him when he comes back. But you pray for this depression to leave them. The leg issue as well. The legs, you know, when people have a pattern of suffering with legs. You get it, no? So, but I'm praying for him. So also, where before he left, before he left, before he left, where by his place, then the auntie as well has an issue with the legs, and we yes. just pray. But she yes. You prayed for the auntie for the legs, and she had the shoulder issue, but it was okay after that. Remember, we spoke about depression in the family as well. So the time say we're going to pray for this because some of the issues um, can be there but hidden, but the Holy Spirit exposes them. Né? So we're going to pray for him. What's his name? Oh, Tapelo. Tapelo. The word of the Lord locates Tapelo in the rest of the family. We command this evil to leave them. Evil of depression. You evil. You who bound their legs with pains, with sicknesses, you come out by the roots. Your darkness be uprooted. Your evil witchcraft, your evil witchcraft, who manifested in your case, get out of their lives, out of this family. Your darkness, you come out of the rich. Your darkness, you come out. The word of the Lord penetrates them. Your darkness, your evil demons, you go. We declare their freedom. Evil of depression, you come out. Evil of depression, you go. The Lord, the Lord has located all of them. We declare freedom. We declare freedom even upon the aunt and everyone, and we stand in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And uh, just for me, I'm just asking for prayer. Papa. Can we walk together in a dream? Papa? Can we walk together in a dream? Can we walk together in a dream? Yes, yes. Can we walk together in a dream? Come, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Be flooded with such glory, such power. I declare the dreamer with dreams given, with visions given, the light of God shines on you, and it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you. God loves you. Thank you for thinking for your friend. Be blessed and enjoy. God loves you. You're blessed. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you. God loves you. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Let's go to the next Zuma. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Our next Zuma is Mama Josephine. Mama, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're zooming from. Mama Josephine. Messiah's greetings, Papa. Messiah's greetings to you, Mama Josephine, and how are you doing? I'm fine, but not fine, Papa. <laughs> Where is you mean from, my friend? From Limpopo, Zani. Zani. Bless you, Mama Josephine. Love you. Amen. Uh, my first prayer item is this one of the, the arm. Is, it started here on the shoulder. And mm. look at the hands. It's very painful. Mm. And then pierce inside the hand. Mm, it makes like arthritis because leave the fingers. Yes. Yes. It's 
the problem of those stores. They start mm. at the at the back. Yes. Then the right at the. And the value clock are the more rapid clock. Sorry. The value clock are more rapid clock like the bones are painful. Yeah, at the shoulder. Mm. Only at the mm. shoulder and at the yes. ankle. Yes. Ah. Mudi mudi tisa. God is going to help you. It's gonna go now, ne? Okay. God is going to help you. Anything else, Mama? Another one is my niece, uh, Aquila. I, I talked to her late at the five o'clock. She was struggling even to swallow water. Is it? Yes. She's not so okay. I don't, I don't see her on Zoom. I don't know what is happening with her. Aquila? Yes. Okay. You, or you expected her to be on Zoom? Yes, I thought maybe I will see her on the Zoom because I talked to her, you must Zoom. Then mm. Papa will pray for you. Because oh, okay. she cannot even swallow water. Exactly. Salon, he... Okay, we'll pray for you. Yes. And the other one I've got, uh, <clears throat> this item, yeah? Okay. okay. This is holy anointing oil. This is light from above, it's treasures of darkness. It's holy anointing oil and anointing that breaks every yoke. This is the living waters. The waters from above the feminine light shines and it is done in Jesus' name. Father, we thank for locating Aquila to set Aquila free from this sickness and diseases, from this disorder in the body. Your darkness to depart. The light of God shines upon Aquila and it is done now. In Jesus' name, the word of the Lord is now upon you, Mama, to set you free. Kupali, check, check those pains, my friend. Can you check those pains? Now? There's still a little what? bit there. In the short a little time. bit there. Yeah, it all goes. It finishes completely. Now, how's the pain, my friend? How's the pain, Mama? It's very far. It's very far. It all goes. How's the pain now? I can't hear it anymore. I hear it. Yeah. Yeah, it all goes. We thank God for blessing you and giving you life from above. How's the elbow? How's the pain now? It's gone. It's gone. Bless him, my friend. That's the end. Yeah, it all goes. Okay. Check now. How's the pain? How's the pain now? It's gone. Ah, it's gone. You can go do your gymnastics now. You can go gym, but don't punch anybody because you're very strong. <laughs> I can lift my arm out. <laughs> yeah, bless you, my friend. <laughs> bless you, my friend. You you also check up, kill up. God is with you, my friend. Thank you, Papa. Amen. Early in the morning. <laughs> oh, okay, my friend. Bless you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, my friend. Amen. Amen. Love you too. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the next Zuma. Amen. Thank you, Papa. We have Colas on the line. Thank you, Colas on the line. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Our next caller is Solofelo from Pretoria with a previous confirmation. Okay, Solofelo. That's great to see you, Solofelo. How are you, Papa? Wonderful, and you, Solofelo? I'm good, Papa. But uh, mm -hmm. um, on Tuesday, you made a prophecy about someone who's currently unemployed and who was, mm -hmm. uh, you said that it was a spirit of witchcraft and then you said that you spoke about the person's feet. So, Papa, uh, my feet are not painful uh, at the moment, but I remember that earlier this year, you were praying for my feet and that when you made the, 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 the prophecy on Tuesday, then I had a sensation on my under my left feet. So I thought that I should call Papa and inform him about that. 
And that, Papa, there's also on Sunday when you spoke to me, you spoke about ulcer pains in my stomach, but I kept on saying that I do not recall what Papa is talking about. So, Papa, on Monday morning and on uh, Tuesday morning, I realized uh, the, the, those sharp pains that you are talking about. But well, I didn't, I didn't want to go on. I didn't want to go on because it's like sharp cutting, ne? Uh, yes, Papa. And then uh, when it happens, like it happens instantly, it's it, it's painful. It's very painful. But when it after it happens, I literally forget about it. Hmm. No, that's. I heard you saying you don't know mm. about it, but I just said let me leave you. Um, yes. Because uh, once the Holy Spirit has revealed it, I just said no. She will know. Remember, the function of the Holy Spirit is to teach us and remind us. Ne? Yes. Yeah, but he said to free someone thinks, okay, we can't blame a person because the man does forget. Yeah. More especially when you speak, some people just panic. No, it's too little. Yeah. They just panic, it's too little. And says, I don't know, I can't remember. But God loves you, God is going to set you free. Yes, yeah, Papa. Thank you, Papa. We'll and pray then, for you. Um, okay. also. Yes, Papa. And also, I wanted to um, tell Papa about, um, uh, to ask Papa to pray for my daughter as well, or, uh, because of everything that we're experiencing, because we can't hide it from her. It's so visible in, in, in before her of everything that we're experiencing. So I think it was in August where she said to me that, um, Mama, I, I think I want to be with God. And I was like, what do you mean? She says, there's too much pain. Um, I want to kill myself. And then mm. I call the prayer line and then, Papa? Yeah, okay. You know what I wanted to say, no? Um, yes, Papa. You know, the peace of God, the love of God, the joy of God delivers children no matter what we go through. If we can start having peace, yes, Papa. we don't post anything bad to children. But showing it, feeling it, going through it, and entertaining it, it's been posted to children. Mm -hmm. It says the joy of the Lord is our strength. You know that, no? Yes, Papa. You know the teaching about the meaning of the kingdom. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Yes, Papa. So, yes, Papa. the time please don't entertain anything. I know at the moment you refer to your family, it's like the same pattern of your family is happening in your family. Yes, Papa. So, hello? Yes, Papa, I'm listening. I'm saying I know some people like you refer to your family. Now, the struggle that was in your family, where you come from, it's in you. Now this, that, that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Yes, Papa. Don't do that, no? Yes, Papa. It's just like with her, Papa. It's, it's a matter of, for example, she will ask question as, why do other people have electricity and we don't have electricity? I'm going you know? to pray for so you. It's you. something that... I'm going to pray for you, don't worry. But I want you to know how to give happiness to children. Yo. Yes, Papa, yes. Yo. Thank you, Papa. You see, Thank you, Papa. advice from the Holy Spirit creates a room because Spirit gives birth to Spirit. I believe you understand, yes, though I'm Papa. speaking parabolically. Advice from the Holy Spirit give, creates room. You understand this, ne? Yes, but it's something that also the Holy Spirit, that um that I'm currently learning as well. <laughs> so, yes, Papa. Don't learn, accept it. Many people, when they get advices, they want to learn advice instead of welcoming advices. Yes, okay. yes, Papa. I accept it, Papa. You answered correctly. You answered very correctly because you want to learn it. Yes. <laughs> There are things to be received, there are things to be learned. 
Okay. Now, when you start uh, learning what you're supposed to receive, have you not delayed yourself? Oh. Yeah, that, that's true, Papa. Very profound. Thank you, Papa. Because many prefer to be analysts than to submit to the message of God. Yes, yes, Papa. Yes, that's true. And one wants to analyze the whole thing. Will it work? Will it? Now you analyze it. And what happens? You fail to receive it. Uh -huh. Yes, Papa. I want you to also, there will be flashback of this clip. And just learn from when we communicated previously, we spoke about the stomach issue. You can't remember. Now go on. Now going to sit down alone, it comes back. Has it not delayed your healing for that time? Thank you, Tsula Fellow. I'm here, Papa. Okay. God's greetings to you, Tsula Fellow. And how are you doing, Tsula Fellow? Yes, Papa. My sign of greetings. I'm, I'm okay, Papa. Wonderful. Um, Papa, the reason for my phone... Yes, Papa. The reason for my phone call is that um, I, when I woke up, I kept on looking at... Um, the, you, were, you were serving the blood and then the declaration after the blood. I kept on uh, repeating it over and over again and watching it. And then um, I ended up uh, manifesting, manifesting while I was watching it. So Papa, I thought maybe I should call in so that Papa uh, finishes off that. <laughs> Finish it off. <laughs> yes. how, how are you feeling? How are you feeling the body? Um, uh, my hand, my the hand that I'm folding the phone with is shaking. Yes, Papa, and uh, yes, yes. Papa. I think my hand is keeps on shaking that I'm holding the phone with, and then while while I, after I manifested, I felt like something, uh, something was like in my heart, but I can't really judge what's happening. Okay, it's not only your heart. Even sometimes you feel like um, ulcer, ulcer pains. Alpha pain. On the stomach. Your uh, diaphragm. Like recently, I've. Your diaphragm, your stomach. Uh, that one. That. I haven't recalled that. I can't recall that at the moment. Okay. Let me show you this way. Like sometimes you feel like cuts, like cuts, like a pain that looked like cutting inside the stomach. Or when one is like your. Are hungry sometimes when you eat food or take water, it will cause pain sometimes, like pain that comes from nowhere. No, Papa, I can't recover at the moment. Please. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. Don't worry, don't worry. God loves you. Okay. And what else now? Oh. Yes, Papa, and then lately my chest, I, I've been suffering, like I feel like I can't breathe properly, like something is blocking my chest at times. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. And then also, Papa, I don't know if there's um, uh, is it necessary for you to give me for me to give you um an update about uh, work or because you said it's going to be a process and so I. So I'm not sure if I should still give you update about what's happening or is it fine? Yeah, don't worry. Let's wait for the process to finish. Don't worry. Okay, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Yeah. I pray for your stomach. The word of the Lord is coming to the truth. Light shines on your stomach or darkness departs. Shortness of breath is not your portion. Check now. How are you feeling now? What's happening now? Yes, but I can I can breathe properly now. It's gone now. Yes, but it's gone. The heart. The heart is, is, is fine, Papa. 
Yeah, it's over. God is with you. You read the testimonies. God is with you. The son said, let's leave it there. I want us to see. You'll see the process is on. Let's leave it there. God is with you. Thank you so much. Papa, I love you. I love you. Bye. I love you. Bless you. Thank you. Amen. Living to analyze. When we come before Christ, we are not analysts. We receive, we believe. All evil, all darkness leaves you. We command spirit behind this delay in your life, in your family to go. The word of the Lord is as far as to you and your family, your husband, and everyone. All darkness departs. The word of the Lord has overshadowed all of you. We command all evil go or darkness go. Be restored. The light, the light of God shines upon you. We pray for your stomach. Light is upon you. You've been blessed in it all and it's done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Papa. And Papa, um, you, this, um, I've been having problems with my... It's three days in a row now where I've been having blurry visions and headaches. <laughs> so I even stopped exercising. I stopped um, I stopped fasting as well, Papa. And then, Papa, there's also a series of... Yes, Papa? How's the blurriness now? How's the headache? It's, it's, it's fine, Papa. Once it happens, I sit in a dark room. And then after an hour or so, it's fine. But then the headache, um, it's gone, but I feel sensation on my left side of the head. Yeah, what is with you? Like, I, I feel like, yeah. Okay, you can speak. Yeah, it's almost like you, you, when this happens, Papa, it's almost like something is foreign, in, like something is being taken away, especially from my mind. I don't know how to explain it, but yes, okay. Papa. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, be and free, be, res be restored, be free. Light shines on you, all darkness departs. We declare good jobs in your family. We declare jobs. We declare wonderful jobs. We declare restoration. We declare heaven opened for you to bless you according to God's plan, according to God's will in your lives. In Jesus' name, amen. The word of the Lord penetrates your child, no suicide. No suicide, no death, nothing. You evil of darkness, you go. We declare comfort in your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Papa, just one more, please, please Papa. <laughs> okay. Yes, Papa. Uh, Papa, there's a series of dreams that I was having. Eh? And, for example, there's this other one where I had where I was in a shop. And then I was waiting for my order to come out. So the person who was servicing us while we were waiting for the order to come out, he saw, I think he saw something like a rat on the counter. And he said, she said that if there's a rat on the counter, that means that there's bad luck. So we all started running away from the shop. And while we were running, this rat was following us wherever, like it was coming from the air and it was following us. So I... Uh, now people started realizing that, no, this red is actually following this girl. And then now people, which that girl was me. And then now people started running away from me. And then in the dream, then I started shouting the name of Jesus running away. And then I started shouting, Papa Lucifer Daniel, Papa Lucifer Daniel. And that's how I got out of the dream. And then Papa, after that, I think it was about um, uh, just over a week back, where I was also running uh, away from there were two animals the one animal was a rhino and the one animal was a huge animal like similar to your hippos and your ele your rhinos and your elephants but it's an animal that i've never seen before papa but i but it, i was able to run away and get out of the dream papa and then the one that happened recently in the past few days i don't remember but there was also chasing papa in the dream and then um, 
I think it was also over a month like where I had a dream where there was a pet bull that one that was chasing me, and then something said to me that don't be afraid of this pit bull. And then I started to I stood still, and when I looked at the pit bull, the pit bull started smiling, but it had a human face on it. And then this pit bull followed me home. And then when I got into the house, I was preparing. It's like um, Katleho and I and the kids had to go out of the house. But because I was taking too long to come out of the house, to prepare for us to leave the house, Katleho and the kids went out of the house. And then um, I'm thinking, and they left. They drove away. But I was still trying to close the curtains and stuff like that. And then while I was doing that, Baba, this, I was thinking to myself that this pit bull is distracting me because it, it wants me to serve it water. And I'm trying to get out of this house, but I'm unable to get out of this house, Baba. And I would also have dreams where, like, um, I, I, I'm, I'm in a bedroom. It wasn't my bedroom. It was a bedroom of the, the couple of the, 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 the um, fellowships at Rabon. They left me with the house. And I was sleeping in their bedroom. While I was sleeping in their bedroom, um, someone knocked on the door and was like, uh, you need to, start, they have started helping me clean the bedroom. And then they left. And once they left, then I felt a guilty conscience that there was something that I had to start cleaning the bedroom. And then now, the next morning, my sister calls me and tells me that um, I dreamt of uh, Mama where she was shouting at me in a room and she was telling me that there was something that you need to do. In the gym, it was like you were supposed to be washing dishes, but you are not doing, Mama was saying that you are not doing what you are supposed to be doing. You know, but in the series of dreams, I'd also dream about her as well, shouting that, like, shouting at us, basically. So, yes, but I just wanted to present those dreams to Baba. Okay. The word of the Lord locates you, no bad luck, nothing chases other people, so I'll chase you. The light, the light of God shines on you, or darkness depart, will separate you from this evil, will separate you from this darkness, will separate you from every evil. Light shines upon all of you, no death follows your family. We declare freedom and it is done in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, focus more Amen. on the part that I spoke about of analyzing a lot of things instead of receiving. Ne? Okay, Papa. Jesus okay, says, go to a certain Papa. place, go to the pool of Shilom and wash. You start analyzing the whole thing. But I was born blind. And these people are saying it's a case. This, no, you start analyzing. Just go wash. Believe. Okay. And God will open your eyes. Don't worry, God is with you. Ne? Please, so go take it. Advices, Take those advices. That's how God will bless you. Okay. Thank you so much, Papa. Rapid. Thank you, Papa. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Bye. Amen. Bless you. Let's go to the next caller. Amen. Thank you, my father. Our next caller is Figi Lev from Northwest with a prayer request. Thank you. Figi Lev. Masaya's greetings, Papa. What's greetings to you, Figile, and how are we doing? Uh, we are good, thanks to you, Papa. Amen. How may I help you, Figile? Daddy, uh, we call you in my younger sister, ne? Um, Daddy, we're having some challenges. Uh, we siblings of three, we three girls, and like we've got an older sister. Uh, but she's not with us. She, yeah, now she stays in, in Tabancho. So Nali Noctula, we're staying together with our kids here in Porch. And our mom is staying alone in Botsabel. So they did. So they did. There's, there's this uh, thing, like it's a spirit that is like trying to come between us every time. Like, uh, this thing, yeah, unity as siblings, as we speak, like. Our oldest sister, like, yeah, and I don't have total contact to the and we don't even know what is happening. Diana, like, mm. into Asia, even Le Mama, she doesn't communicate with her. So, like, there's been fights in between, and then, like, Papa, and this, the, this thing, yeah, this spirit, it's, it's, it's something like a, a tormenting, like, from young, 
like and before gonna ring yalwa le no tula like in kin to sing at a date like the connected with our late father like una na din to say snack say which by the need to torment that you robala le gona and the same spirit is like is still following us and your, ma- your mom gave us. birth to how many children three girls to date so that's the other one that's the one that you say she's she's the one which like you're divided with her like you your mom and your sister you're together but she's the one who's not is there now yes, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, she's not communicating with us we are now with her kids okay. mm-hmm. yes it mm-hmm. so that's the really, that it's like it's still it's still it's still like tormenting us because now it's still affecting us even today and it's now go, like affecting when it's now starting to go to our kids because even like I'm on to like the entire the things get me see so we need prayers they did because even in our finances are very bad are very very bad mm. so we no, request we'll prayers we we'll pray so your mom is alone yeah our dad passed on so she's staying alone go high and then but in the majority of the tenants but the tenants that then they she always doesn't get to the tenants it's a sharp she's it's, it's mm. like it's always a struggle mm. yes it oh, god loves you we're going to pray just trust in god yeah okay that yeah god is with you we'll pray and just ask god to set all of you free and bring peace in your family yeah? okay that okay that in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord locates you as a family, your mom, your sister. Father, give them your peace. Father, pray for peace in this family. We command the spirit behind this to go. Your darkness to depart. Your evil call, your evil, you depart. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All evil departs, all darkness departs. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this peace, removing all evil, removing all darkness, and giving them life from above. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Daddy. Hey, uh, Papa. Uh, and then the letters, I will mention something about my younger sister, Nukchul, and she's requesting prayers, especially about her ministry. Hmm. Yes. What's happening with the ministry? She, she feels that uh, it's not flourishing. Okay, it's not making it. Yes. Okay. No, what what we prayed for everything, ne? Yes, sir. Everything we prayed for, ne? That's to help all of you. You understand, ne? Okay, Dad. Mm. We pray that the struggle of your father, that when he leaves and everything goes down, like everything just gets out of order. You understand, eh? Yes, Dad. Like everything gets out of order. You know those mm-hmm. issues like when there's death in the family and it's like everybody starts... Now there's trouble. Financial yes, issues, Dad. everything, eh? Yes, Dad. You get it, eh? Yes, Dad, I get it. So we pray that everything gets to be cancelled and finishes. You understand what I mean, eh? Amen, I understand. So we pray that everything gets to be nullified. Everything standing against you gets to be nullified and shall never happen anymore in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be free and be set free. Be free and be set free. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I want you to go back and think of the pain and it's a love pain. When I say love pain, heart pain, 
love pain, relationship pain. The origin yes, yes. of your mother's marriage and your father's marriage. Mm. You understand, no? Yes, Dad. You understand why I say love pain, relationship pain? Not really, Dad. Love pain, relationship pain, which would cause a person to. Okay. When a person is in a relationship, ne, and there will be some disturbance of another. You understand now, ne? Hello? Yeah, yeah. You are too deep, Daddy. Pardon? Daddy, you are too deep. <laughs> so I don't understand. You understand? Okay, get it, ne? Love, pain relationship pain when a person can get into some people's relationship and disturb relationship oh okay then yeah. yes sir. you understand it no yes sir. i'm speaking from back then now are you with your sister yes sir. i'm with, us, with my sister yeah it's good that both of you are listening now you understand no? yes sir. which can pass a case when somebody begins to speak bad and fight and everything because there was love, relationship, pain. And it affects people. You understand, no? Yes, please. You understand, no? Can you hear yes, me, guys? Yes, we understand. Yes, Dad, we are here. Yes. And now, now, you okay you said ev like, like everything one touches this nothing goes right one does this nothing succeeds so it's like that did huh it's like that did now you understand everything now yes did so the mouth that speaks against someone else's relationship does that love pain I put it love pain, I put it um, um, relationship pain. You understand what I mean? Yes, did. Somebody begins to speak bad and now mostly you find that now, okay, the other side of marriage, the father's side, now there's issues again. Mm -hmm. Now the mouth that speaks against you, you understand what I mean now? Mm. Yes, Dad. Is it clear now? Yes, Dad, it is clear. So we speak against the mouth that spoke a curse upon you. I'll put it like mm. that. Mm. You understand the whole thing, eh? Yes, Dad. So we pray that the hand of God be upon you and remove every word spoken against all of you. Mm -hmm. You get it, no? Mm -hmm. How's the relationship with the father's side? Your father passed on. How's the relationship? Hi, Daddy, we're actually not having a good relationship with them. Love pain. Do you hear what I said, no? The yes. mouth that enters a relationship and begins to speak. That's why you heard what I said when I said the father's side. You get you heard it, no? Yes, yes. Is it clear, guys? Yes, yes, yes. Do you have a relationship with them? No. Do you have a relationship? Uh, not really, um uh, of course, like but what is happening is and uh, it, it is last week because we still i still side like i'm still having that uh, communication with them mm. my aunt on my dad's side mm. but i don't really communicate with them because last week they called me like telling me about the my aunt they are the funeral that was in the family so i had to inform my mom concerning it 
So mm-hmm. Tina, we are not able to go last week. So yeah, Did the communication. I'm sorry. Okay, you can speak. Then Tina uh, and my sister, we didn't go, we we're not able to go, but mm. I did call my mom concerning it. So mm. the, yeah, the communication is not good at all. Hmm. So you understand what I'm saying now, no? Yes. There's no like communication, there's no that attachment, no? Yes, man of God, that's true. Now, now I'm, I'm just building up so that you can get it now, no? Yes. Now, this thing is like it's coming to our children. Now we have a sister who is far away. Yes. That's why I'm trying to go slow to bring understanding so that you can know that God sets you free now. No? Amen. Love, pain. Relationship, pain. You get it now, no? Yes, man, of course, we understand. Is it clear, both of you, no? Yes, it. That's why I want to go slow so that you can get it. Now, you and your other sister, you live like your father's family and your family. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yes, that's true. You, you get it, no? That's why I just want to go slow to comfort you guys, to help you, no? Yes, mm-hmm. So, your father's family and your family, now you find the same pattern. Am I right? That's yes. true. You understand? Not so together. Not so together. Mm-hmm. Not so together. You find the same thing. People scattered. No peace and everything. Now you find it now. Did you hear what you said? You started with your mom and then, now you said it comes to your children. But check your father's family. Mm-hmm. Life pain, relationship pain. Is it clear now? Yes, man of God. But we are going to pray for that, for God to set you free. I'm just bringing this so that we can understand. But God will change you, sister. God will change everybody. God loves you. Is it clear now, no? Yes, sir. And you know, love pain, relationship pain touches like everything. And when there's pain, people just speak. Yes. Yeah. When there's pain, people just speak. Am I right? Yes, it's true. People just yeah. speak. That's why I want to go slow so that you can understand. Eh? Yes, it's You know, it's just like a person whose things don't go right. Say, okay, you... <laughs> There's visitation, a sister visits a sister, and when she arrives, look at look at this. How do you put things? How do you do things? How can you put things like this? How can you do this? <laughs> Why is this thing put this way? Why is this thing? <laughs> you understand the example that I'm yeah. giving? Mm-hmm. Yes, do you know it can cause a trouble upon a person who speaks that? Sure. Why does, the mouth that speaks? Why do you pack these things like this? Why do if you prefer it that way? Why is somebody speaking so loud about it? Mm-hmm. Word spoken, you understand? No? Yes, I'm trying to put it simple so they can tell words spoken. Some words people think ah, it's just ordinary. Ah, uh-uh, it's not ordinary. Mm-hmm. You understand now, no? Yes, sir. Mm. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, sir. So I'm going to pray for your family because this scattering thing, not the time saying, now you see the pattern from your father's side and you now, no? 
God is with you. There's no in the family, there's no family that is above the other family and the other one undermining the other. Amen. Every family is there for a reason. No? Amen. But when one begins to speak, they begin to deal with their blessing. Amen. Clear, no? Amen. So I'm going to pray for all of you. Don't worry, God loves you. No? Amen. We command this to leave. We command this to depart. All evil goes, all darkness goes. The love, the light of God departs. The life, light of God removes it, causes this to depart. The love, the light of God causes this to depart, removes this evil. We declare peace from above and it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You understand? Is there anything you want to say? Um, Papa, there is this dream that I saw, like I think last week. It's concerning my dad's brother because he's the one Oshegi Lemanji and the, the one? other one. I can he's, hear you. He's Sorry. the one. I'm I'm saying I had a dream about my dad's brother, my late dad's brother, but mm. Vienna Usapila. Mm. Then uh, I saw I saw him. So it it was like we were in in the house being sick high at that time. Then what happened is why I was there, and it's after they called me, telling me about the funeral. So I dreamed them, even my other relative who passed away, and even my dad. But the, my dad's brother, Lo, why was there like in a dream saying, talking about love? So I didn't understand. Talking about what? He, he was talking about fam the family that doesn't love, like the family doesn't love each other. We don't love each other in the family. No, no, you, you get it clear now. You get what I was explaining now, no? Yeah. Love pain, relationship pain. Uh, that's why I want, just wanted to go slow so that you can get it. You understand, no? Yes. No. I believe it's clear when I say the pattern of your father. Now it's in, it's the one that dominates in your family. Meaning the pattern of your father's family is the one that dominates in your family. Is it clear now? Yes. Of God. You, you're not, is it clear now? So the turn now I came to where I told you now you say it's it's like it's posted onto our children and now now you, your sister is there, you, you understand? Where does it come from? Clear now? Mm. Mm. Now is it clear now? It is man of God. But at the same time, like um even this week. I think it's the day before yesterday. I mm. dream him again, but when I dream him, like we are, my dad had another place, but we sold it after my dad passed away. Mm. So I saw him appearing in that on in that place, but he was when he came, he came like attacking me. So mm. I didn't know what to do because I was like. This is my grandfather. How can I fight back? But I didn't mm -hmm. see what happened. What happened in a dream? But he came so furious, like wanting to attack me. Mm -hmm. Then when I woke up, I, was, I, I said to myself that I saw him like talking about love, the family not loving each other. There was a division in the family. But at the same time, he's furious. I think I is is furious. It's coming like that in a dream. Hmm. Not to worry, God loves you guys because someone thinks it's a pattern that it's demonic, but now many would not take it seriously. That's why now you hear me. I'm trying to go slow so that you can understand. You get it, no? Yes, I But God is with you. God sets you free. I pray against. We prayed against that. I just want you to bring it to light so that you can understand. Even when your sister 
the other one tries to reach out make use of that as an opportunity now ne? to mm -hmm. make sure that this gets to be finished your children won't experience this your children won't go through this your mom must be comforted amen, amen. now i believe everything is clear ne? Amen. yeah that's why i want you to go slow so that you can get it because really from your father's side it's like that that's why i took it relationship pain love pain or maybe i should put it the relative pain mm -hmm. you get it no yes, so god is with you god loves you and i believe you'll start seeing change from now on be comforted god mm -hmm. loves you no? be comforted god is with yeah. you no? Amen. because it's the struggle that has been there yeah. yes you get it no? relatives close but it's like someone is in uk someone is in america someone is in australia but you're close just around <laughs> huh? Huh? Yes, sure. yes, that's why I'm just trying to go slow so that you guys can get it. But it shouldn't be a thing because some things can deceive us. You said, ah, this is not like the main issue. No, it comes from back then. Love pain. Yeah. You understand, no? Yes, so God is with you and I believe God sets you free from from this and we speak against that which would cause deep loneliness from your father's side mm -hmm. I'm, I would call it part-time marriage not marriage but part-time I'm talking about the grandfather. If you can check your mother to check that site. Why am I saying part-time marriage? Deep loneliness. Appearing, disappearing. Appearing, disappearing. That's why I'm talking about the grandfather from your father's side. That's what they, 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 my dad went through. Even He's passing like that loneliness because always it comes to me, uh, man of God, how lonely he was. I don't know. I don't know. Let's clear for Jesus been... Christ. Let's clear for Jesus Christ. Let's clear for Jesus Christ. That's why I'm I'm going slow so that you can get it. You understand? Deep loneliness. And when it comes to the grandfather, part time, I'll call it part time marriage, not marriage. Even, hmm. Even him, uh, it, the same thing is happening to him. Yes, now clear. Now I believe you're all clear now. No? Okay, I'm going through. I'm going slow because I'm sharing your pain. I understand what you're going through. Yeah. And you understand when I say part-time marriage. Now you begin to say it's like this thing is following us. Do you see a bigger picture now? do you see a bigger picture what is happening with you what is happening with everybody now mm. clear no? but guys be comforted me i'm saying god loves you 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 love god not in emptiness or for nothing you do not just love god for nothing i don't even get what i mean you love God for a reason for him to open your eyes and set your family free Amen. and your children I'm saying I repeat your children will never experience this Amen. that's what I'm saying when I go to your father's side deep loneliness and these are times where you see People, some are together, some are familiar, but you find sometimes the person or the father is abundant, but they're close to the mother. <laughs> and 
menos cuando te llevas de este y... It's clean, ¿eh? It's clean, ¿eh? Yes, menos cuando. Mm. Uh, there was this day, man of God, like, I think it was on the 19th, it's where my, my sister and I, we spoke about this, the thing that is happening, like, because we were like, we are staying together in the house, but we never communicate, mm -mm. and then we were talking together about it, what is happening, and what is happening to our mom. Like my mom is alone there, and hmm. and concerning even about my my older sister, we don't communicate anymore with her. Now you heard that, that, that you heard that, that part when I, you heard that part when I say your mother is alone. Yes. It's possible to inherit the paternal side and see the pattern happening in your family. They were one, remember. And the same thing. Men of God, and um, after that, like I was driving the kids to school, then there was this thing that, like, it's confronting me, saying to me, like, talking about my mom, saying mm. to me, like, even that one will stay alone like that because I mm. also stayed alone. Mm. So I told my sister, we spoke about that in the morning, but in the morning I was thinking about praying about it, this thing that is mm. happening to us. Then I felt that way saying, yes, even that one who's staying there, mm. she will stay alone because mm. I also stay alone. Yes. Are so you not surprised? Are you not surprised? Are you not surprised what I'm saying? You, you guys, you also had dreams concerning what I'm saying now. Yes, sir. You understand this, ne? Yes, my God. So God loves you. You see, when I'm even talking about part-time marriages, mm. so there was deep, deep loneliness. Close to the mother, the father abandoned. Close to the mother, the father abandoned. Now, where does the father come from? Now it spreads among your family. I believe the whole thing is explained now. The mother counted more than the father. And then, and I'm seeing the mother being counted more than the father. You get what I mean? Deep loneliness. Oh, hmm? That's true. So that's why I want to explain it so that you can. And that's I'm going slow. I know it's pain, and I want to get through it. If 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 you know what we we're going to do now, if your father was alive, oh, yeah. I was going to direct it to your father and buy him gifts to make him happy, oh. just to make him happy. <laughs> That's why I want to go slow so that you can get it. Your father missed that. If he was alive, I'm finishing now. Huh? I can't hear you, sister. Uh, I'm saying there was this time in a dream. <laughs> like I'm seeing my bed, but I saw myself like on a bed, laying on a bed alone. Then the same in a dream, I saw my dad appearing like I saw myself like neglected. <laughs> but I saw him like appearing in a dream, but I thought maybe I would be scared or maybe he would harm me or something. But I just felt that touch and it goes. And it, it from was... that time I was thinking about, I continuously thinking about my dad. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I'm taking you slow, guys. I understand your pain, purely understand it. Remember when I said, and your mother is alone. <laughs> if your dad was alive, I would say, guys, let's buy gifts. Let's go to him and ask for him to make him happy. Love pain, love pain, relationship pain, marriage pain, part time marriage. That's why I want to show you how the story, your story is complicated. I have to go slow to explain everything. That's why I'm repeating. I'm not surprised what I'm saying. You guys also dreamt about such stories that I'm talking about. It's true. I did. But I'm repeating. Are you not surprised what I'm talking about? You dreamt about it. <laughs> if he was alive, I would say, guys, please, let's do something now for him. Let's make him happy. He will deep loneliness. But still, we can still ask God for forgiveness because some of the things, yes, we were not aware, we thought it was life. We thought it was life, but he felt neglected, he was alone. Now, can you imagine if we go to him and make him happy? We were going to cancel even what came, what he came with from his family. But he came with it. Now here is it in his family. Now I'm lonely. Look at my children now. Look at my wife now. That's why now I'm going slow because I knew that it will start as complicated. But now it's clear to all of you now. No? Pardon? Okay. I can't hear. I think it's not like. Are you still there? Yes, man. Okay. It's still here. You, you understand what I just said, no? Yes, man. Okay. Your story will also teach others. There are families who live like that. So we can still say, God, forgive us, because your dad is not around. Yeah. You can still even go with gifts. There's a funeral, nobody left. Nobody went. Mama, there's a funeral there. But now you could still even go to his side and still give gifts. You understand now? Because it comes from there. Cancel it. But I'm praying now. God makes a way where there seems to be no way. You get it, my guys, no? Yes, I know God. Yes, I, that's, I'm going slow because I now understand the deep pain that you're in, which has blinded eyes, not to see where the problem comes from. He was a very lonely man. Love pain, relationship pain, part-time marriage. And now we see this happening following you guys. And now, now it's the whole thing is clear now, no? Pardon? I think it's the network. It's Hello? The okay. You, you all understand? You all understand? Yes, you all understand. Yes, so God is with you. God forgives you. And now because we spoke, I want you to notice the cause of those dreams now. Ne? They will change. To change the situation at
this it needs some form of power or some form of language go collect the donkeys when the owner asks where you take them tell them the lord needs them and the own the owner cannot reject the owner cannot refuse So when he speaks, it must happen as he says, because the Father has given everything to set us free. The Father has given authority to release us and set us free. The Father has given us authority to even execute judgment. So we speak judgment against this situation. So that deep loneliness will refuse it okay. and that's why at the end you see things not going well so we declare freedom for your mom we declare freedom for the tenants we declare that your mom gets to live well again we declare that you live well and the word of the lord touches your sister again because i want you to understand she is lonely not that she's away a pattern she will look funny but a pattern yeah. but god loves you no? god loves you are you there so the authority and the power that changes anything or anyone is upon your family. God is just there. I'm just going slow because I purely understand what you're going through. As the Spirit explains to me, I didn't know, now I know. But I pray, I plead for mercy, for making me know what you're going through. Father, I plead for mercy for this family and give them freedom in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So God loves you, my guys. So I don't know if you need any counseling, you want to speak, feel free to contact the office. I'll take you through, guys. Ne? Yeah. So what you can do is, even from your father's family, whenever there's anything, or even when there's nothing, just go. Go to the elder who's remaining. <laughs> you get it? Go to the elders remaining and just say peace. Give them whatever. Buy them whatever. Go back to your mom. Love your mom. Buy whatever. Come back. That's it. Yeah. Our actions of faith do bring peace in heaven on earth. Yeah. Are we happy now? Yes, now you understand, eh? yes, understand that's why i said are you not surprised what i'm saying now you guys dreamt it's a dream it's in a dream as well uh, that's true, man of God. pardon that's true, man of God. True. so god is with you guys don't worry god loves you and just be free right now be happy i'm just giving you tips on what to do even from your father's side you get it no? you see there's a funeral no let's tell mama we don't go no no you understand so it's a thing which has been there but god loves you no god forgives you and that's why i'm saying if he was alive your dad was alive i would say just go to him guys make him happy deep loneliness his grandfather you can check the history there it was that time type of part-time marriage as well so god is with you i love you guys are you happy now can you smile with me <laughs> ah i don't see your smile i don't see your smile why do you want to be on the phone <laughs> 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 
God loves you. Please be comforted. God loves you. If you feel like you need any help, you can still call. I'll take you through. Call the office. I'll take you through. But know that it's over now. Please, prophetic actions that I told you to do from for your mother, from, from your father's side, just do that. Ne? Yeah, God is with you. God loves you. Ne? So I wanted to go slow. I know this is complicated, but it's clear now. Ne? I believe the Holy Spirit has made it clear for us. Ne? Yes, baby. Amen. Love you guys. How are you feeling now? We are relieved today. You are relieved, isn't it? Yes. God loves you. I pray that God blesses you and you hold money and you see progress. You see things happening more better in your lives because God has stepped into your family. God loves you, ne? Amen. Amen. Bless you, my guys. Your sin of testimonies. Love you. Thank you, Daddy. Love you, too, Daddy. Amen. And then, of okay. course, I just wanted to ask you something. And okay. I... Yes. Um, there was this time whereby I... I... I was talking with Pastor Irene concerning it, concerning my debt company and the, uh, he had a company, but mm. he left it, he couldn't continue with it. So mm. I wanted to take over it. Then it's so where I received the advice that I must not continue with it because of the, there were other family members who were part of it. So what I got was like I must I must start my own company because it was in my heart always that I don't know this thing was pushing me like yeah I because must, it was I, I because it was there from. because it was there in the family now you do it without attachments and it will flourish because you now know God better. Amen. You get it, ne? Yes, You understand it, ne? Not so really, God is with you. God, not... Okay. Okay, there are things that... Okay, I explained that um, every family, God has blessed it. If you read the book of Ruth, it's about two redeemers. Boaz was not the rightful redeemer. There was a redeemer in that family whom when he had money and everything, he was the one supposed to marry Ruth. To take Ruth out of poverty, out of death, to take Naomi out of... And when the elder sat down and said, now, yes, your part now, he said, I cannot put my properties, my money at risk. But now Boaz understood the character of Ruth which is godly so they had to decide now who's the next is boaz ne? so boaz wealth riches and everything without the attachment of the first redeemer who refuses not going according to the word of god mm. boaz riches went on and on he was blessed even better than the first redeemer because mm. He cared for the family because Ruth, Naomi, they were family, they were one family, they were relatives. So there must be someone who saves one family out of trouble. So according to that time, families had redeemers. God has intended for everyone to be blessed. If anyone goes down, the redeemer is responsible to help. Now, here's a business which couldn't make it because people were not living right. Part-time love, relationship struggle, and whatever, you get it, no? But now, now you know the truth. When you start with your own business and whatever, because it was there in the family, it's in the blood. Do you think God will not raise you better than anybody? Clear now? Hello, are they there? Are you there? Yes, we're still here, man of God. Do you understand it? Do you understand my explanation now? 
Yes, man of God. So, okay, there are people who come from a family of educated people, but because they did not know God, they did not know God, if they did not know God, they don't really reach that level where they are so prosperous because they do not know God. Now, you have the same education as well. You know God. You prosper better than them because you know God. Is it clear now? Is it, is it clear now? That's why I'm giving you an example about the book of Ruth. Why Boaz prospered? Because he knew the will of God concerning Ruth. The other redeemer didn't care about the will of God. He cared about his properties yeah. and he did not prosper like is it clear now yes, man of God. go for it god is with you do your own amen, amen. because a uh, man of god i even i don't know if ever i'll be wrong like uh, because when you do it a, a company then register you give uh, maybe five they they will ask you for five names for it so i did send them but the problem is they chose one which is of my dad then it's whereby i was surprised like why they went for that name mm -hmm. in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare the name from above and we remove the old the old is gone the new has come you can start applying god is with you amen amen god is with you it's done god is with you are you fine guys now eh? are you happy yes we know god yeah god loves you hold on him remain in him I believe your story was a bit complicated, but now taking time to give you understanding as well. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. Now you have knowledge. Ah, uh, forget about struggle. Forget about struggle now. You prosper. God loves you. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Go and prosper, guys. God loves you. Amen. 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 Watch the broadcast. Listen to this. Advices. What you do to your mom and your family and, and and family of your father and you'll bring your your testimonies god loves you amen 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 let's clap for jesus christ let's thank our king let's thank our king for our sisters thank you let's go to the zoomers amen amen papa our next zuma is uh daniel daniel please unmute your mic and let us know where you're zooming from daniel Evening, Papa. Messiah's greetings to Daniel. And where are you now, Daniel? I'm at Ekurleni. Ekurleni. Yes. Bless you. How may we help you, Daniel? Uh, I have a prayer request for my daughter. She has flu, so I'm asking for prayers for her. What's happening with the daughter? She has flu. Flu? Yes. Okay, follow. Um, since last week, because we went to visit one of my husband's uncle, and then they were playing with, with his uh, daughter. I think she had flu, so that's how she catch the flu. Hmm. Okay. The word of the Lord locates her daughter. Every virus in your body dies. Every bacteria dies. Your evil flu, your go, your darkness will depart. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, all evil departs. Every virus in the atmosphere dies wherever she goes, in the house, wherever. All viruses die. Every infection in her body disappears. The love, the love of God is now upon your daughter. We declare freedom and it is done. This shall never ever happen to you anymore. It's done in Jesus' name. Amen. You said it's how many? Three weeks? You said three weeks. Am I right? No, since last week. Oh, you said last week. I yes. ah, don't worry. God is with you, Daniel. Don't you worry. God loves you. Yes, Papa. I have another prayer request. Mm -hmm. uh, on the 26th of September, me and my husband went to sign a home affairs for Mary. Mm. 
Yes, and then we got new rings. So I was asking for you to pray for us. You got the rings? Yes. Let the me wake him. He's sleeping. Uh, oh. If you have the rings close, I can, uh, I can pray for the rings. Mm -hmm. No, I only have mine with me. Okay. He's still sleeping. Eh? Let me pray for him. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Let me pray for you. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord has come with the truth. We declare blessing upon your rings. We declare these are divine cords, cords that can never be broken. You are bound with these cords together with your husband. It is done. You've been blessed. And may the Holy Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So God is um, with you. Uh -huh. And then there's another one concerning the house that we were staying in in, in Gyan. Mm. Um, I'm always having dreams about us cleaning the house, things like that. Mm. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what to do with the house right now because there are conflicts about it. There are conflicts. Yes. <laughs> Who's fighting for it? Uh it's Kikimani Bili Malum. Yes, they even had posters who read the house is being sold without telling me this. So it's your mom's house? Yes. And they want to sell it? Yes, because uh my mom gave that to two girls. Who are both girls so they're saying that because i'm staying with my husband there so it's an issue for them they're telling me that my husband is supposed to buy me a house he's not supposed to stay there with me okay you are the rightful inheritors of the house you and your sister yes so they're just calling trouble upon themselves property issues are emotional issues so in the spirit it's even worse What they do, they do it to your mom. And concerning that again, because I had my my right leg bent by water. Pardon? Um, my right leg on the 17th of June, it was bent by water, so I had to go to hospital. So one of my... And then she came, and then when she came there, she told me that, no, it's because uh, my mom is angry at me for the things that I've been doing in that house, things like that. What have you been doing in that house? I don't know, because there's a rumor that I've chased my sister out of the house. I don't want to share the house with her. Ah, no, no, no. No, no. Where's your sister? She's staying with uh one Pardon? She's staying with one I can hear you, sorry. She's staying with one <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Oh, Okay. And then didn't your sister stay with you? She did. Now, did you chase your sister? They're saying that I chased her because... No, there's no such. That's what I'm saying. Didn't your sister stay with you? She and when did. she stayed with you, did you chase her out of your house as well? No, because even now, no. I left the house alone. But there's no yes. one in that house. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You did. There's no such. You didn't travel with it. Your sister stayed with you. You took care of your sister because of her age. Because she's young. You understand what I mean? Yes. So, but don't worry. God loves it. Don't allow accusations to come against you. These accusations come because they want the house. Simple. And now that's where the problem is now because the house needs to be fixed just like now the roof is leaking. So when it's rainy seasons, there's going to be a problem. 
And I'm not even sure if I should fix the house because I know at the end of the day, they might influence the child to fight with me over the house. Ah, God will change it. Don't worry, your, your, your sister will change her mind. Don't worry, she knows. I'm seeing records of staying with you and how you kept your sister shall never escape your sister's mind. And that Holy Spirit will use that to cause your sister to say, I miss my sister. I can't do anything to my sister, which is bad. So fraud cannot prosper against that house because everything says you and your sister. Yes. Everything says you and It doesn't say the aunt. It doesn't say whoever. No, 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 no. Relax, relax. Just calm down, our sister. Calm down. The stories of tradition, you know, your husband does, I was now, now I, I declare the hand of the Lord upon this house. I declare the hand of the Lord upon you and your sister in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. What they do, they do it to your mom, not to you. If your mom was around, would they do this? Did they tell your mom that after she passed on, they're going to do this? So I just make it, I'm just making it simple. They do it to your mom. Because it's like I'm the bad one here. It's like everything that uh -huh. I do. Ah, no, 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 no. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down, Daniel. Your name is who? It's Daniel Lucio Jordan. This is, oh, we spoke long, long ago, ne? Yes. Long, you are the one whom your mother passed on while you were at the hospital in Pretoria. Yes, and then they. Told you see, me even that... when you can change your hairstyle, hey, I remember. <laughs> I remember now. You were in Pretoria, ne? Your mom passed yes. on in the hospital, and you were there. They found you were crying. Yes. I no 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 no. I remember your story. Ah no no no. No 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 no. I remember your story. Oh, you changed that. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> now I remember your story. Because you were at the hospital and you were all alone. Nobody cared. You were with your mom alone and you were still at school that time, if I remember you, right? Yes, because even last year I dropped out because they didn't make any payouts for from her workplace, their pensions and all that. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. There's is some evil smell in here and God will deal with that evil. Now I remember, you were still at school and your mom passed on. You were all alone when your mom was sick at the hospital and she passed on. Yes. Were they checking her? They did come and check her. But the problem mm. started with when they wanted to switch off the machine because I refused for the machine to be switched off. I said, mm. let her pass on her own. So mm. they told me that, no, there are hospital bills to be paid. And my mom had medical aid by then. Mm. So they come with those kind of stories. And they even accuse me that I don't love my mom. I've been blackmailing her to support uh, her. No, I, that's all, I remember your story. No, I remember your story. No, I remember the fight. And you were still very young. I didn't understand why all elderly people could fight you when you were that young. I remember, man. No, 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 no. You hear what I, how I put it? I remember, man. No, 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 no. They won't prosper against you. We pray for them to change and let the mercy of God be upon your family. Yeah. You, you get what I mean? Eh? May the mercy yeah. be upon them because doing it to you, it's doing to your mom and to be very bad for them. But don't worry. I want you to come down. Don't be sad. Come down. Come down. Come down. Don't be sad. Come down. I declare this case. It's now in the hands of God. You can fix the house. You want to fix it for you and your sister. You know very well. So God will bless you for that. And it will not prosper. And I still say fraud won't make it. It will be putting themselves into more trouble. God loves you. God is with you. Now remember your story very well. Yes, and then and, uh, last week I was able to pay for my fees and then I got my result and then I have I've passed 22 modules and then 8 are remaining. 
So because of the struggle with the studies, since I've started this course on 2018, even now I'm still doing it. So I wasn't sure if I should continue with it or... No, you'll finish. It. Continue, you'll finish. From now, I declare the power to push you. I declare the power to push you, to make it, and I declare it's done. God is with you. And you, you, your sister, what's happening with the screen? I don't know. I haven't spoken to her. I think in three months since I got banned, since I got discharged from hospital, I haven't spoken to her. Is she, you don't know that she's going to school or something? She is going to school. Okay. But please don't forget, take care of her. Make sure that everything is in order. Ne? Yeah, please make sure that you, your sister goes to school very well. Make sure that she's supported in everything. Ne? No matter how she can... But I declare, the power of God changes it. She will never forget how you took care of her. With that, I don't feel comfortable um, getting involved in any of the things because at the end, when I try to do something, it's like just like last time I asked her to come and visit me. She told me that she'll come, but on the day that she was supposed to come, I called after three days, and then that's when they told me that she cannot come because she had to go and do an ID. So it's like she doesn't want me next to her. That's how I feel. So I don't... No, I don't worry. Her. Just relax. Just make sure that she doesn't suffer. Remember what I said. Her record of how you took away never, will never escape her mind. You get it, Ned? Just remember that. No matter how... It's a, we, you know how... what she's told. You know what she's been told. Yes. So as long as you know, is it there? It's not there. It's influence. Yes. So make sure that she doesn't suffer. Take care of her. You get it, no? Okay, Papa. Yeah, please do that. And that's how God will take you through. Don't worry. All is well. God is with you. What came to rob you came through people. But now we pray for those people for mercy of God, for the mercy of God to be upon them. No? Yes. And then there's... Forgive them, no? Yes, I did forgive them, but I don't trust them. No problem. Them. That doesn't mean if you... For... That doesn't mean you for... forgive people, they will always change. Some will forgive, they don't change. Some will forgive, yes. they change. So, uh, right if you know that... that... Didn't change. If you know that this is a ditch, you've forgiven a ditch, but you won't go and fall into a ditch because you're forgiven it. So that's why I'm saying forgive them. Make sure they forgive them just for you to be free. Let them see you prosper. Let them see you shining. Don't worry, God is with you. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Bless you, Daniel. God loves you. Thank you. Amen. You'll bring your testimonies. Bless you. Thank you, Papa. Amen. You have changed. At least God help me to remember you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Amen. Daniel, I heard you saying you, you, your leg is bent. How, how are you feeling now? Uh, sometimes I get an itchiness. There's this big scar on, on the thigh. It's like it's bent too much. So that's why I get itchiness. Okay. And then walking, uh, does it disturb you? No, it doesn't disturb me. But there's this big scar there. It's just it's painful. Yes. It okay. Becomes Father, she's your daughter. Thank you for blessing her. Thank you for grace. Let your grace be upon her. I declare healing grace, delivering grace, closing up that wound and setting you free. Light shines on you. Check the pain. How's the pain now? No, there's nothing now. It just Amen. becomes itchy. maybe when it's hot, too hot or too cold. That's when Amen. God is with you. It's 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 over. You'll send your testimonies. Amen. Bless you, Daniel. God loves you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Papa. Amen. Amen.